Would you rather power your gear with this or with this? This is actually the step up by a company called MyVolt. Actually, technically, this is the step up by MyVolt. But what it does is it converts USB-C into power that can power your 9 volts and 12 volts and even eventually 15 volt gear. This can be beneficial for a few reasons. First off, portability, because you can actually power your music gear with stuff like this, like a power bank. It's also nice for cable management because we all know what it's like to have a rat's nest of cables with our music gear. And third, even just using it as a backup cable, it can definitely be very helpful. I went through this recently where my track rig got drenched in rain and it fried the power supply and I used a product by MyVolts and I was able to use my gear again. This device is really cool, and what it does is it takes advantage of quick charge technology to supply the 9 or 12 or 15 volts eventually that you need in order to power your gear. You might have heard of the rip cord before, which is also by MyVolts, and that's a way to power your gear with USB-A. I actually did a review on that on my channel as well. But the step up is their newest product, and it's taken advantage of how prevalent, thankfully, USB-C is becoming. So I'm going to go over how this works. Make sure you get the correct step up because they have different 9 volts as well as a 12 volt and they are also working on a 15 volt in the future. And I'm also gonna show you how it does power up some of my gear. For some of you, you might already know a lot of the things I'm gonna go over in this video, but if you are feeling intimidated by the end of this video, just remember at the end of the video, I will give you a three-part checklist to make sure that you're good. Many thanks to MyVolts for sending this over for me to check out for the channel. I've been using the rip cord for years. If you've seen any of my HX Stomp videos, I'm basically always using the rip cord to power my HX Stomp. This is not a paid video. They sent over the step up for me to check out, and all the opinions in this video are my own and also they are kind enough to be able to do a giveaway to one of my subscribers so be sure to stick around till the end so you can find out how you can win one of these for yourself so this is a really cool product but just in the same way that you don't want to use the wrong power supply with your gear you also want to make sure that you get the correct step up so let's go over the setup first so here's the device right here. You can see it's very, very tiny, and it has a few important things on here. You can see that this is the 9-volt adapter. It is center negative, and the max power that it can send is 27 watts. I will address a little bit more of this later. Just make sure you remember that. And then you have a couple of options for cables. So this is a USB-A to USB-C cable, and this is a USB-C to USB-C cable. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug it into a power supply, and what we're looking for is to see this PD to come up. That essentially means it has the quick charge to technology that is needed to work with the step up. So you have to make sure that the device that you're plugging into works with different protocols, either PD, which is called power delivery, or QC, which is quick charge. And that's what's really nice about these cables. It will tell you if it is working. If you see the PD symbol, that means that it is going to be able to power your device, assuming you use the correct voltage and all of that. So you can see this device is powering it. Now, when I plug into this little portable power bank that I have, that I've used forever, when I plug into that, you can see that the PD symbol does not show up. So this power bank does not provide the quick charge and therefore it will not work. I'm going to plug into this one. You can see it does light up. I'm going to plug into just this extension cord that I have that has some USB-C and USB-A slots on it. You can see that this one is not working. I'm going to plug in the USB-C one to see if perhaps that one works. No, PD still does not show up, so this one is not going to work. But now when I plug into this power adapter and still use the same extension cord, but I plug into you know one of the outlets, that will send enough because this uses the quick charge technology needed in order to make it work. Basically, what I'm saying is if you see PD, it will work. If you don't see it, it's not going to work. And that is why I do recommend using the MyVolt specific cables because it will tell you if it's working or not. So for the rest of the demo, I'm going to use this device right here. I will have links down below to purchase this from Amazon if you are interested because this one does work with the quick charge technology. And it's a cool little device that has a USB-C and lightning cable built in as well as a USB-A and USB-C ports as well, which is pretty nice. So I'm going to plug in the USB-C to USB-C cable. I'm checking that PD symbol does show up, so we're good to go. So the first device that I'm going to power is my Roland SPDSX. And you can see here, it doesn't really give me a whole lot of details here on the back. It just says DCN. And it does give you a warning, only use their specific power supply. But I'm going to show you why you can use something else, just as long as you get the voltage and the polarity and all that correct. So instead, what we're going to do is we're going to look onto the power supply itself. So on the power supply, you can see a few things here. You're going to look at the output. So it's 9 volts at 2 amps, and it is center negative. So remember what the step up is? The step up is 9 volts and center negative. 
negative. That means that this device can be powered with the step up, nine volts center negative. If I was using the nine volts center positive step up, this would not work, could possibly damage your gear as well. And I would not want to use the 12 volts step up with this device because it only needs nine volts and that also could damage your gear. So the step up nine volts center negative, the power supply for the SPDSX is nine volts center negative, therefore it will work. Now you see that it has two amps. So just a few terms to go over as far as amps and watts, the way that you know watts is volts times amps equals watts. So in this case, it's capable of sending two amps at nine volts, which is also 18 watts. Most of the time you don't need that much, but it is important to know that equation. Volts times amps equals watts. Now we just need to see if our power supply is sending enough amperage and or watts to our gear. Now, if we check on the back of this power bank, and this is why I like this one, it's gonna be hard to read this. I'll see if I can zoom in enough. So the most important thing to know here is that the power bank is able to send equal to or more amps than the power supply. So the Roland SPDSX power supply sends nine volts at two amps. This is able to send nine volts at three amps. So that's equal to or greater than. That's what we want. If I was using a device that said it can only output one amp or like these little tiny Apple devices, that can only do 0.5 amps, that's not gonna provide enough power to power your gear. So the Roland SPDSX power supply can provide two amps. This one is able to provide three, therefore it will work. So amps higher is okay. Amps lower means that it likely won't turn on. And you can see when I plug it in, and I can power it up with no problem, and I'm now powering my SPDSX off of a portable power bank using USB-C power. And up here, you can see the wattage that it's using. So you can see it jumps between one and two watts. So again, like I said, you don't normally need 27 watts of power to power devices. But again, better safe than sorry, in my opinion. And always just go with what the power supply or the manual says for the gear that you're using. Next up, I'm going to power my HX stomp. So up here on the top, it does have it written of what is required. But I've used my stomp so much that it's all worn off. But you can see it needs nine volts at three amps and center negative polarity. So I do want to make sure Sure that I'm using a device that can send three amps at nine volts or 27 watts of power, center negative polarity. So again, this power supply will work. If I tried using something that sends one amp of power, it likely would not work. You can also confirm this on the specific line six power supply as well. Nine volts, three amps max, 27 watts, and center negative. So just always check that. It might be intimidating, but it's literally written on the power supply or on the device itself, the requirements. As long as you follow those, you'll be good. As you can see, turns on the stomp with no problems and I can operate it just as normal. You can see that the HX stomp draws a lot more power than my SPDSX. You can see the wattage keeps switching between seven and eight watts. And that's just without me really using it too. So that's good to know. And then last but not least, I am going to power my Roland FA06 keyboard. Again, up here at the DC power, it doesn't give me any information, but the power supply for this one is actually the exact same one as the SPDSX, so I know I'm okay. But you can see, I'm gonna plug it in and power it up, and now I can play my keyboard on portable power. And also you can see this one draws a little bit less power than the HX stomp, but a little bit more power than the SPDSX. Pretty cool to see, actually. Okay, pop quiz. Next up is the Shure GLX-D Plus system that I've reviewed. It's a wireless microphone system. Looking in the back here, it says it requires 15 volts, 600 milliamps, and the power is center positive. Should I plug in the step up that sends nine volts at center negative? No, the answer is no. I'm not even gonna try to plug this in. The polarity is incorrect and the voltage is incorrect. Therefore, I will not be powering this device with this step up. And I would need to look into another device because my volt sells multiple different options. So as far as the step up itself, it's currently $20. They do have an option for a nine volt center negative, nine volt center positive, and 12 volt center positive. I did reach out and they are working on a 15 volt that should be out in March. They do have the cables for USB-A to USB-C or USB-C to USB-C, both are $20. I do recommend using their cables. They do have a FAQ on their website that says, will any USB-C cable work? And they do say, you know, they need to be able to carry the correct amount of wattage needed. Some cheap cables will not be able to, so just check the specs, but it is just really nice that the MyVolts cables show you specifically if it's going to work. I do recommend that. They do also offer a kit that has a portable power bank and all three different options and some cables for 150. And you can also get a 65 watt power bank for 80. And they also have this plug for 15 and they give you options for which country you're in.
So there you go. So just remember, if you are feeling intimidated by this still at the very end, here's the three-part checklist. First, make sure the voltage is correct. Second, make sure that the polarity is correct, either center positive or center negative. And then third, just remember whatever you are plugging the step up in that is sending the power to your music gear, whether that's a portable power bank or a wall outlet, make sure that it has enough amps and or watts to power your gear. You can usually find that in the manual, but I often find that it's easiest just to check the power supply that comes with the device itself. But if you're still unsure or nervous, you can always reach out to MyVolts on the website to make sure that you get the right product. So most pieces of gear have some sort of protection in place in case if you have some sort of mismatch, but it you can still fry your gear. So just make sure that you are doing this correctly. If you guys found this video helpful, do me a favor and hit the thumbs up button. It's a free way to support the channel and feed the YouTube algorithm gods. So there will be links down below if you want to check this out for yourself and you want to purchase any of the products I talked about in this video. However, like I mentioned, MyVolts is kind enough to be doing a giveaway to one of my subscribers. They are willing to do a giveaway of the 9 volt center negative along with the USB-C cable. So in order to win, two things is one, you have to be a subscriber. So if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and subscribe. And then second, you have to leave a comment down below using the magic phrase. You can say whatever you want in the comment section, but just as long as you say the magic phrase, since we're talking about power in this video, the magic phrase is 88 miles per hour. Make sure that it's spelled this way as well. I will do the giveaway on this date right here. Please do not respond to scammers. Scammers sometimes show up when I like to do giveaways on my channel. Just remember, I will never, ever, ever, ever in any circumstance ask you for money, not for shipping, nothing like that. If anyone messages you pretending to be me and they start asking you for money, that is 100% a scammer. So thank you guys again for watching. Again, many thanks to MyVolts for sending this over for me to check out. I've used the Ripcord for forever, and this is a really cool step up, pun intended, for their new power devices. MyVolts actually was the first company to send me the Ripcord to do a product review. I only had like a thousand subscribers at that time. So I'm definitely really grateful to MyVolts. I did review their combiner splitter that is a five in, one out, or one in, five out, completely passive device slash mixer, which is really cool. And also I reviewed their Revolt system, which is a way to provide USB power to some of your gear that normally needs battery power. Really cool. You can check out both of those products by clicking the links on your screen now. Please consider subscribing if you want to see more videos like this in the future. Thank you guys again for watching, and I'll see you next time.